spring time with the freshness of morning. Nature bursting with the first flush of new life. The cycle of seasons has begun again, as surely as night follows day. The world a pageant of beauty and colour. Soon the fruit will ripen under summer skies. Nature's abundant gifts to be gathered by willing hands. Summer, a time of plenty. What a pity it cannot last. Or can it? We can make it last. We can freeze its freshness. Each day, the average family requires a balanced selection of foods for good health. Unfortunately, young vegetables and summer fruits are seasonal and only at their prime on the day they are harvested. Most of us would prefer a fresh selection, not just for a few weeks in midsummer, but regularly every day of the year. Storing it in a standard household refrigerator is fine for about one week. Not very long if you like raspberries. With a rapid rate of deterioration going unchecked, the choice is soon reduced. By the end of a fortnight, well, you can see for yourself. Not very exciting, is it? But for the housewife with the right equipment, a food freezer, the story is quite different. And it has a happy ending. The produce here will be in perfect condition many months from now. Freezing is the easiest method of all for preserving food. And the most natural. The technique is delightfully simple and safe. Color and flavor remain unchanged. There's no risk to health because food-destroying bacteria can't multiply at low temperatures. Just as there are degrees of heat in cooking, so there are degrees of cold in freezing. The frozen food compartment in the refrigerator is only meant to store commercially prepared frozen food. Freezers not only store foods for up to a year, but also freeze your own fresh produce and foods prepared and cooked at home. To sum up, a normal household refrigerator keeps perishable foods fresh, but only for a limited time. Some have a compartment for storing small quantities of bought quick frozen foods, up to a limit of three months. On the other hand, with a freezer in the home, you can have a permanent larder of produce frozen when in season, as well as quantities of commercially prepared frozen foods. With such a wide selection available, your menu is no longer a problem. Freezers, unlike refrigerators, which are in constant use, don't necessarily need to be housed in the kitchen. A spare room will do. Or even in the garage. Anywhere, as long as it's dry, cool and well ventilated. Basically, there are three types of freezer. The upright and the combined fridge freezer, both front opening, and the chest type with its top opening lid. Many of these are tabletop height and equipped with removable baskets for easy selection. They're available in a wide range of sizes. The upright model obviously needs less floor space. Stocks can be readily checked and the door provides handy additional storage capacity. Having purchased your freezer, you now have the fun of filling it. You can prepare and pack your own garden fresh produce, or you can buy in bulk from any of the well-known suppliers with subsequent savings.
The same goes for meat and poultry. It should be in perfect condition, having been hung or matured for the correct length of time before freezing. Many butchers and wholesalers will supply the housewife at reduced prices for quantity. They'll butcher it expertly to the cuts most suited to your family's needs. All you have to do is pack it for the freezer. All food to be frozen must be correctly sealed in special moisture and vapour-proof packaging. You won't need them all, but whatever material is used must be of a quality to withstand prolonged sub-zero temperatures. The wide range of plastic boxes, foil containers and polythene bags meet all requirements. When polythene bags are used, the air is squeezed out. For closing them, tight tie bag fasteners are twisted round the neck of the bag. They make an airtight seal quickly and easily. Cartons and containers, ideal for liquids and purees, are made in a variety of shapes and sizes. Plastic sheeting can be used for wrapping joints and any irregular shapes. It can easily be cut to any size and tape sealed. Pre-shaped aluminium foil dishes are ideal for pies and tarts. After unwrapping, you can pop them straight into the oven from the freezer. So you can see there's a variety of packages, but there's an even greater variety of foods. Almost all foods can be frozen only their characteristics are different. Obviously, some are not worth freezing because they're available all the year round. Some can be stored longer than others. Some need preparation before freezing, like many of the soft summer fruits. For perfect freezing, most fruits are packed in dry sugar or sugar syrup. Four ounces to the pound for red currants is adequate. Whatever the fruit, it should always be carefully selected and just right. Any with blemishes or bruises is best discarded. Roll in the sugar gently so as not to damage the fruit. And pack carefully, leaving room for expansion. Seal round the lid and don't forget to label the box adding the date. That's most important. Good stock rotation on the basis first in and first out of the freezer ensures the best flavour and condition of food. The freezer does the rest. Most models have a separate control for the initial freezing. By switching on this control in advance, the temperature is lowered so the food already in the freezer is not spoiled by the addition of the new packs. Meat is very easy to prepare and stores for long periods. A handy tip with individual cuts is to separate them with greaseproof paper or plastic film before wrapping. Then they're easy to separate while still frozen. To prevent puncture and damage to neighbouring packages in the freezer, remember to overwrap sharp bones and edges. Another tip, especially if you like mint sauce with your lamb, Prepare it in the usual way with garden fresh mint. Freeze it in the ice tray, then pop the cubes into a polythene bag and just take out a few at a time to go with the lamb. On the subject of main meals, we come to vegetables. Most are easy to prepare. The majority should be blanched before freezing. Simple immersion in boiling water retains colour and flavour. about one pound of vegetables should be blanched at a time to allow adequate circulation of the water. Blanching is timed from the moment the water returns to the boil and varies according to the kind of vegetable. Peas, for instance, take one minute. Transfer the vegetables to ice-cold water for the same length of time. And 
finally, drain and pack into bags or containers ready for freezing. Time only permits a glimpse of the many varied and delightful foods that can be preserved by freezing. The variations are numerous and exciting. Freezing at the correct temperature ensures that foods retain their original freshness, flavor, and texture. Freezer fresh food is thus available all the year round. In fact, from breakfast to dinner, summer or winter, with a freezer, the season's produce is yours to serve at a moment's notice. At last, with the help of a freezer, a housewife can be a true hostess, able to relax and enjoy her own entertaining. The delights of summer fruits can be yours, even on a cold winter's evening, when summer is just around the corner, in your own freezer. <laughs>